here is our victim. The third disc of Flashback. It's an awesome game, but in this case, it doesn't work. The best way to find out if a disc is going to work, or if not, then why it's not going to work, is to use a disc imaging program. Uh, I use my own program. So let's try and read this disk image, shall we? Now I happen to know this disk doesn't work, as we will shortly see. So far so good. This is actually running on a cat weasel, but it'd be exactly the same on any other disk imaging program like Xcopy. So most of the disk is good. Now this is an Amiga DOS formatted disk. Uh, with a normal game disk you wouldn't be able to do this but you would be able to use Xcopy or something like that. The important thing is to have a graphical display of which blocks work and of course more importantly at the moment which blocks don't. One bad block. Now it's on side two, which means that it's on that side, not that side, because that's side one. That is side two as far as the data is stored. So, first thing is make sure that this is on top. Now, we need a cotton bud, such as this, and some record cleaner. If we spray the record cleaner, into the cotton bud so that there's plenty of fluid on it. So we've got the wet end and the dry end. Now if we take the disc, here we are, let's just move it around. Right, we have a disc, we moisten it with the wet end and then we soak up the excess with the dry end. We turn it a bit, I've got my nail stuck into the pivot hole on the back. Then as before, wet end, dry end. Now you might notice bits of dirt or grime or anything else stuck onto the disc surface which will hopefully come off in the cleaning process. This is also very good if you've just got a load of discs off eBay from somebody who was obviously a heavy smoker because the smoke sticks to the surface and this is a good way of cleaning it off. So we keep on going round and round all the time, wiping it wet, wiping it dry and then turning it all the time with the nail in the back. Obviously if you're doing the other side it's a bit easier because you can actually see the pivot hole. There we are. And so on. There we are back with the disc imaging again. Let's bring up the disk imaging program. Okay, let's L3.ADF. Okay, this comes up as normal. There we are. Now remember this failed on side two on block 69, dude. So let's see what happens. This was all working before. Nearly halfway. No change, so we haven't damaged anything, that's good. About 50. There we are now, block 69, side 2 did not work at all. good to me. 
So back to the Amiga again. Now just to clarify, these discs were bought in a lot off eBay. A whole box of games cost 99p because they're all broken. Now the best way to test if a disc is good is to use WHD install. Very, very useful program. WHD load. Let's put it into my games partition. Let's make it a new icon. Now we're back on disc three. We've done discs one and two. This disc three, our old friend, one which did not work, but we reckon that it does. Let's see what happens. So far, so good. Now, although I didn't actually try to install this before, I know that it had a read error, so it would not have worked. Especially as it came in a box full of non-working discs. All seems well so far. Looks good. And this is what our non-working version of Flashback looks like. Seems pretty well working now. <laughs> 